reward for risk taking it is a gross interest to exceed that one and uh, according to the marshall they know they can classify two types of reward me reward risking is there that is business risk second is personal risk so what do you mean by business risk business risk to lending money to repayment purpose and a personal risk it is not capable to pay to dishonoring dishonesting and a uh, wise a person not earning the sufficient money they can't pay the repayment so that is called the thing and a uh, reward for inconvenience so it is of this main playing the role to that when you are borrowing the money from the others we lending the money from the others it is a lending expenses and a lending not paying to the money and a lending to the loss of any favorables and a forgets the offer money until the repaid so many things are in this inconvenience or there and our last is reward of management so reward of management it is the expenditure keeping the amount to borrowers and it is the buy amount of this and the minimum the staff of the collection of loans so this is the also main effective into the reward of the management the management should be collect the borrowings in sufficiently they are collecting borrowings from the wise person taking the loan from your institution to can find out to regularly hopefully okay so here to go this gross interest gross interest is equals to that is net interest net interest plus reward reward for risk bear taking risk taking plus reward for inconvenience reward for in convenience okay and a uh, reward for management plus reward for management so this is called as gross interest okay from the gross interest how many types are there gross interest and uh, next is net interest two types are there na from that we have the different kinds of interest net reward from the risk reward for inconvenience reward for management so next is net interest what sir net interest net interest with is the remaining the will lending after deduction the rewards for the taking innovation and as a management thing is okay so what is that one here in this in in from that net interest from that we can remains the with lender after remains with the lender after deducting that one reward me from risk taking reward for inconvenience reward for management you will get it the net interest okay we have this equation is there net interest net interest is equals to the gross interest minus gross interest minus rewarding for risk taking reward 
for risk taking place reward for inconvenience reward for in convenience plus reward for management so that is called net interest okay so this is the types of interest next is theory of interest what sir theory of interest theories of so in theory of interest productivity theory of interest first is theory of interest in productivity theory of interest it's main playing the role as capital demanded because of the productivity what is that capital main playing the role to classical economics the capital in a demanded because of it is production so moreover additional units of capital or to used the productivity we will be increasing the same or additional cost will be using the what will happen production will be diminished okay we are using capital to involve in the production no problem at all we can using additional unit will be increasing same additional will unit will be increasing the product will be decreasing understood okay this is the capital involvement capital in volment so what will happen this one the certain stage the productivity will be increasing when you are using additional what said additional units what will happen decrease the productivity decrease the productivity this is the theory of interest